Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you probably guessed by the title of this video, this is my candle day haul. So it actually is like two parts. I went on Friday and then I went again on Saturday morning. So I'm going to go ahead and like run down kind of my experience and then I'm going to show you all the candles that I got. So I'll put a timestamp if you don't want to like hear about, you know, everything that happened and you just want to see the candles. Don't worry about it. I'll put a timestamp at whatever time that I start talking about the candles and um, yeah, anyways, let's get into candle day. I do just want to say hi to all the new people out there watching. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you love Bath & Body Works content. I am a Bath & Body Works junkie, so <laughs> you're definitely going to like my content. And um, yeah, I'm going to get into explaining everything that happened for candle day. So basically, I could not go on Friday because I worked all day Friday. I work 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 12 hour shifts. and. I did the same thing Thursday, so like I really need my sleep. <laughs> I didn't want to get up early and go at like 5 o'clock, so I made the decision to go after work at like, I think I got there at 8.20 uh, p.m. at the Bath & Body Works near my work, which I worked like 45 minutes away from my house. So there's like a lot of different Bath & Body Works in Houston, and I just happened to go the one by my work. So when I got there at 8.20, there was a line. It wasn't that big, like maybe five people were in front of me or like five groups, like a father and daughter and stuff um, were in front of me, but the store looked pretty empty. And I was talking to the associate uh, while I was standing in line and I was like, yeah, so I'm surprised y'all even still have candles, like enough to do a whole weekend. And she was like, yeah, I hope we get another shipment because that's all we have. And I was like, how are you gonna last all weekend if that's all you have they only had like maybe a fourth of the store left um, of candles so that was like really confusing to me um, I don't know what that was about I don't know if she was just saying that because maybe they're told to say that and they can't actually restock until like they closed on Friday or until like they were about to open on Saturday I don't know I'm not I didn't go back to that store again so I can't tell you if they restocked or not but they didn't have anything so I basically grabbed what I could that I knew that I wanted and then I like grabbed random candles to try and exchange later because I wasn't sure if every store in my town was going to be like that too where they didn't have any candles um, that I wanted they didn't have any Christmas candles left and so I got really scared so I just like grabbed extra candles to try and exchange at a later date just so I can get that still that good price um, so yeah, that was a little confusing. And then also going in the store, there was a lot of people for that tiny store. It was just a Bath and Body Works. It wasn't like a white barn and Bath and Body Works. So it's just a small little standalone store. And there was a lot of people in there. It was very crowded and everybody was pulling off their masks to smell their candles. And people were just walking around with their masks down to just smell everything. And people were like getting in the way and stuff. Like they were still nice. They were like saying, excuse me, but it still felt very overwhelming. Like it felt like there was way too many people in that, in that uh, store. So, and I think in Texas we're at either 50 or 70%, 75% capacity for stores. So, I mean, it makes sense, but still it felt like very overwhelming and I just, I didn't like it. So I also got like a little confuzzled. <laughs> um, and so I, I just was grabbing whatever. So anyways, that was the first store on Friday night. And then I decided to, on Saturday, go to my store in the mall. So I have an outlet store in my mall. Let me just say, I love my outlet store. It's amazing. I'm so glad I live next to it because they are literally the best. So I went there today. Today is Saturday, I'm filming it. I'm filming this video on Saturday. I just got home from picking up these candles. Um, so they, okay, I was talking to the lady in the line. There was only about again, like five people in line ahead of me. I went at 10 a.m. I thought they opened at 10 a.m., but they actually opened at nine on Saturday. And then they opened at 5 a.m. on Friday, which I didn't think the mall did, the mall let them do, but I guess they did this time. Um, they let them open at 5 a.m. on Friday and um, 9 a.m. on Saturday, even though the, the mall didn't open until 10. So I got there at 10 and there was still so much left. It looked like they had just restocked everything. There was so much, I was so surprised. I walked in and I was like, Hallelujah. 
<laughs> I was so happy because they had so much stuff left and I had brought five candles to exchange um, just in case they actually had stuff. I didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't even know if they'd have any candles left like the other store. And I was telling that to the associate in line. I was like, I told her, you know, they had barely anything left. And they told me at that store that they had no more re to restock. And I just got really scared. And so I just grabbed random candles. So I have some to exchange. She was like, wow, that's surprising. And I was like, yeah. And so I came here today because I knew you guys would have more. Um, that outlet store is always awesome. They always get the newest stuff first and they always have a great stock of things and they always have things on clearance. It's just awesome. So I went to that store and I brought in five candles to exchange and yeah, they had a lot of the collections still left. They even had like the candle day, like the cookies and cream milkshake still left and stuff like that, which I smelled that. And to me in store with my mask on, I smell through my mask. I smell the lid. It smelled like hot cocoa and cream. So I felt like I didn't need it. It was super hyped, but I felt like I didn't need it. They still had like four left of those and that whole collection. They had the whole like summery collection. Um, they had the marble collection, they had a lot of stuff and I was just so happy that they still had so much of things that I wanted left. So that was like a really great experience. And then also I saw on the sign outside that they were letting 47 people in. And then they also like, it's a, it's in the mall. So there's no like doors to walk in. So it's open and it just felt so much better. It was less crowded than the other store, which doesn't make any sense because it was about the same size as the other store but it just felt way more crowded than the other one. So I don't know if people were behaving better and they were being respectful. They were being respectful um, versus the other store, I don't know. But they were, it was just like a way better experience. People were still pulling their masks down to smell candles, but they were like far away. They were keeping their distance. It was really, it was really nice. And I, I could like sit there and think, like I literally stopped in the store to uh, like sort through the candles that I wanted and put some back. And I never usually get to do that. Like the stores are always so busy and I get overwhelmed, but that was a very good experience. So I don't know if it was because I had gone so early, maybe. Um, it really wasn't even that early. It was an hour after they opened, but still. Um, I don't know if it was a different crowd, but it just was a so much better experience. And they had so much of the candles that I wanted. And yeah, it was, it was really awesome. So that's kind of my candle day experience wrap up. Um, yeah, basically I had a bad experience and then I had a good experience. So I guess we're evened out. It's all good. Um, but this was like my first official candle day. Last year I just so happened to go, not just so happened to go on candle day, but I like went with my friends and only bought like four candles. And yeah, this year I kind of went ham. So let's get in to the haul. I do have a bag that I got. Um, the first store that I went to on Friday didn't have these out. I didn't even ask about them because I just figured they were sold out. But the store I went to on Saturday in my mall, they gave you these when you checked out. So they gave you the paper bag when you walked in and then these when you checked out. So I'm very happy to have these. I literally told the guy that was checking me out, I was like, I knew I should have just come to this store. Y'all are literally the best. Y'all are awesome. And he was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. So anyways, let's get into the haul. So I'm going to show you first what I got on Friday. Starting off, I have this summer collection candle in Berry Waffle Cone. So they had all of these. Um, I think these were like online exclusives for like a random amount of time. Um, and they had these in the other store too. So that's like they had these, these candles in both stores. But I knew I wanted Berry Waffle Cone because people had been raving about how good it smelled. Um, it's Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, and Creamy Vanilla. And I have sanitized all of these with um, Lysol wipes. So this one smells really good. It's like super sweet and berry-y. I wanted to get a few candles. So last year I kind of made the mistake of getting only Christmas candles. So this year I wanted to get a few candles that I could burn like whenever or in the summer or in the spring and not like just be tied to Christmas. So berry waffle cone is my first kind of like summery candle. And then it also has a really pretty lid, so. Very happy to have this one. And then along the same lines, um, I got pomegranate lemonade. This one was on a table at the front and I think it was with a bunch of returns because there was two online exclusives, the almond blossom candle and the um, champagne apple and honey candle on that table. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it looked like it was a bunch of returns. There was like Christmas candles from last year and even when I brought this up to check out, 
the lady at the checkout was like, oh my God, where did you find this? I was like, I know. So it is juicy pomegranate, zested lemons, and sugar crystals. I saw this maybe like one day in my store and then it was, I never saw it again. Same with raspberry mimosa. So I'm really glad that I found this. Mm, it's like super sweet and, and um, zesty. <laughs> like super sweet and tart. Yeah, there we go, that's the word. And yeah, I'm really happy to have this one. It's so, so, so pretty. I love this color and um, it will be good to burn in the spring and the summer. So that's really good. The next one I got, I actually wanted in the frosted glass packaging, but they didn't have any of those candles out. Some people said that their store never even put them out. Um, I guess that's because they are $2 more than the regular candles. So anyways, I picked up Vanilla Bean Noel in the holiday traditions packaging. I knew I wanted Vanilla Bean Noel because I had it last year and I know that it's a very light scent, but I don't mind that just because like I get headaches from the like very heavy and um, high throwers. So I was happy to have Vanilla Bean Noel. It is vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. Mm. It smells just like Vanilla Bean Noel. This is also like my favorite Christmas scent of all time. Um, and it has this really pretty lid. I don't know if people were changing up the lids or not. Um, but this is the lid that it came with, so. Um, yeah, I just, I will never get enough of Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm very happy to have this one. And then another one that was on my list, this was actually the last one in the store on Friday. They did have these in the store on Saturday that I went to in the mall, but this was the very last one. Um, one of the associates was like restocking a shelf, or not restocking, I think she was just organizing and cleaning, like sanitizing them, and, um, I was like, hey, can I grab this one before you organize it? She was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. So, sugared snickerdoodle. And I knew I wanted it in this packaging because it's kind of just bakery themed. So I can have this out all year round. And I love cookie and like bakery scents whenever. I can bring this at any time. So, mm, it smells so, so good. It is warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. I've had this one before as well. And it kind of gives me a little bit of caramel vibes. But yeah, it's definitely really, really good. And my mom likes the cookie scents too, so I can even burn this one downstairs and she won't mind. So very happy to have picked this one up and check it off my list. So next we're gonna get into the candles that I got today on Saturday. And they had a they had every everywhere I looked, it was like surprising to me what they still had left. So Let's get started with the marble candles. So the first one I picked up is strawberry pound cake. They had, I think pretty much every one of these marble candles left. Um, they had strawberry pound cake also in like the plain pink. Strawberry pound cake is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake and whipped cream. It just smells like strawberry pound cake. I figured this would be another one that I could burn um, spring and summer and not like, you know, be mad about it. So I was definitely excited to pick up strawberry pound cake. I didn't expect to get this one, but um, I, I like the scent anyways, and I know that I'll enjoy it. So I went ahead and picked that up. The next one that kind of surprised me because this is like very new packaging is Merry Cookie in Holiday Traditions packaging. So, so cute. I love the reindeer. Look back at it, <laughs> as Tina Marie would say. Um, Merry Cookie is fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. And again, it has that like snowflake lid. It smells so good. And I do say that sugared snickerdoodle and Merry Cookie smell different. They do. To my nose, at least. I think um, sugared snickerdoodle is like much more rich, whereas Merry Cookie is just straight sugar cookie. So, very, very good. I love this one. Very happy to have that. And then the next one, I was so surprised. I was looking everywhere for it. And then it just so happened to be on the wall and it is gingerbread marshmallow. I had this one on my list. I was so excited to see it. Um, they did not have this at the store on Friday. They barely had any in this collection. I think they had like five, tis the seasons. Um, oh gosh, it smells so good. It is gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, and vanilla frosting. Oh, and brown sugar crystals. That's a lot of scent notes. And this has the um, snowflake lid. So I do have spiced gingerbread, but my candle from last year in spiced gingerbread is very, very light. And it, it's almost like not even spicy. <laughs> um, whereas this one, you can definitely smell like the nutmeg and the, um, 
and the cinnamon. Oh, it is so good. So this one is very, very good. I feel like it's like gingerbread frosting more than gingerbread marshmallow in my opinion, but yeah, I was very, very happy to find this one in the store. And the next two were on my like maybe list for candle day. So when I smelled them in stores, I decided to pick them up. It is snowflakes and citrus, which somebody actually told me is midnight blue citrus. So I did smell that one on Friday, midnight blue citrus and just like plain regular white barn packaging. And I think it was blue. And yeah, I think it does smell exactly the same. So the scent notes on this are juicy citrus, fresh spring water and sweet mango. This one is another one that I figured I could burn in like spring and summer. Um, because it is just like citry, citrusy and like a little bit fresh. I think that's the spring water. So this one will be good for now and for later. So that's why I wanted to pick it up. And the packaging is beautiful. And look at that beautiful, beautiful wax. And this has the kind of like frosted window pane um, lid, if you can see that. Try not to blind you. And by the way, I'm recording in my dining room. We have our little mini tree in here. I thought it was really festive. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup, by the way, sorry. Uh, but I figured this was like a fun, casual video, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do have um, some decorating videos coming up soon of my hutch in here, which you can see a little sneak peek of, um, and the tree. And I have a second hutch in here. Well, my mom, this is, this is my parents' house, but I decorate it. Um, and our new dining room table. So very excited about that. Subscribe down below if you like decorating videos because those are going to be really fun. Anyways, last candle that I picked up on candle day is vanilla snowflake. And I really wanted this packaging with the kind of like luminary see-through snowflakes. And it also has the frosted window pane um, lid. The notes on this are frozen vanilla, iced fir needles, mint leaf, and coconut flakes. That's like a really weird combination. And smelling it in store, I liked it better than, I, than smelling it right now. But it still smells good. And I feel like this is also one that I can kind of burn year round just because I don't smell any mint, but I do smell the coconut and the vanilla and like a little bit of freshness from the fur needles. So this one I figure would be good for now and for later, but I might return this later if they come out with a cool candle line soon. But yeah, definitely like this one. I just really loved this packaging too, so yes. And then I do have two that I wanted to show you guys that I bought online actually. I had a $10 off of 30 coupon um, that was for online only. It was for the rewards app. Um, for signing up for the rewards app, you get a $10 off of 30 purchase, I mean not purchase, coupon, and um, it was about to expire, so I just w went ahead and purchased some stuff online. So I got two candles um, while they were $14.50, and I used the $10 off, so it basically made them about $10. Um, so it was kind of like the same price as Candle Day, but I just got these in a few days ago, so I wanted to show you. So the first one is Salted Caramel. This is an online exclusive. Um, and this whole line is really, really cute. The scent notes are roasted chestnuts, caramelized sugar, and spiced rum. So this one, when I got it in the mail in its little box, you could already smell it. Like I didn't even have to open it. I didn't even open the box and you could smell it. It was so strong smelling. And yeah, so I've burned this once because Tina Marie said that hers was very, very light. And I think we must have different batch codes because mine is not that light. Um, on cold, it's very strong, but when you burn it, it is kind of like a medium throw. Um, I started it off in my bathroom and you could definitely smell it in the bathroom. And then when I brought it to my room, you could still smell it. It wasn't as strong as in the bathroom, obviously, because it's a bigger room, but you could definitely still smell it. I probably wouldn't put this in the living room. It wouldn't, it probably wouldn't um, smell up the whole living room, but it still smells really good. It just smells like caramel, basically. Like a rich caramel sauce. Um, but I love caramel scents. They have my heart. So I definitely knew that I wanted this one. So picked that up. And then the next one that I got online is Chocolate Grams. They had a lot of this collection still in store. Um, so I smelled all of them in store, but I really only liked this one. And this was when they had first come out online. So I ordered this a while back and my packages have been taking like maybe two weeks to come in, two weeks to a month, depending on where they come from. Um, mine have been coming from either Grapevine, Texas, which is like North Texas by Dallas, 
Those come in faster, still takes like two weeks, but faster um, than the ones that come from Atlanta. And the ones that come from Atlanta, well, it's still getting here. It's probably gonna be like a month before it comes. So anyways, um, Chocolate Grams is milk chocolate graham cracker caramel swirl and vanilla extract. This one smells really good. It kind of reminds me of pumpkin peanut brittle just because that smells like, to me, Ritz crackers and peanut butter, and this smells like Ritz crackers and chocolate. It smells really good though. I really like this one so and the chocolate is not like super heavy like hot cocoa and cream chocolate um it's like a lighter chocolate but still really really good and really sweet and i love sweet candles <laughs> and so i did order online at um 5 a.m my time 6 a.m eastern standard time i know people had a lot of trouble doing their online orders for me what i did was i stocked my cart the night before because bonnie queen of the girl geek said to do that i stocked my cart the night before with two candles that i wanted that were online exclusives and then two um free gift free what are they free item up to 16.50 um, that I had from the rewards app. So I had two of those in the cart and I had two candles in the cart. I set my alarm for 5 a.m. I got up at five, kind of like zombie mode, went on my phone and signed in and um, went to my cart, put in the coupon and then pressed check out. And it said, sorry, we're experiencing difficulty. So then I went, I pressed the back arrow, I reloaded it, it said it again, and then I reloaded it and then it, it came up. I pressed check out, I checked out, I got a confirmation email that said your order's been confirmed, and then like an hour later I got a, another email that said your order's been processed. So that's how I knew like my order actually went through. I know a lot of people had a lot of difficulties trying to get online orders. I feel horrible. Like if you didn't want to go in store and you only ordered online and you couldn't just because their website was down for an hour and they sold out at like 12 o'clock or something, I'm so sorry. I feel like that's horrible. Bath and Body Works needs to do better on that. They need to get a better website server. But anyways, so I did get two online candles. I got Butter Rum Eggnog, um, just because I know Bonnie and Queen of the Girl Geeks is obsessed with that candle. And it only comes around like every so often. It hasn't come back for a few years. So I was really excited for that one. So Butter Rum Eggnog. And then the other one I got is Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I'm so excited for that one. I love vanilla candles. And um, I'm, I've heard nothing but rave reviews about vanilla bean marshmallow, so I'm very excited for that one. Um, I hope it doesn't smell exactly like um, uh, vanilla bean Noel. I hope it doesn't smell exactly like that because this is literally vanilla bean marshmallow fluff and vanilla cake. So I hope they don't smell exactly the same. I hope they're a little bit different. But vanilla bean marshmallow also has not come out for a few years. Um, and the packaging on that is just gorgeous with the little moon on it. I just thought that was so cute. So I got those two candles and I'll go ahead and tell you the two free um, items up to 16.50 that I got are, I got Christmas cookies shower gel, um, just because they just released the full size of that online and it's an online exclusive. And then uh, the winter candy apple moisturizing body wash. I didn't really want any more lotions or body creams or body sprays just because I have a lot of those and I don't go through those very quickly. But I do go through shower gel relatively quickly. So, uh, and I don't have anything in winter candy apple. I've never tried that scent before. Um, I probably have in like a hand sanitizer, but I don't remember it. So I figured trying to get it in a body wash would be good. And also I've never tried the moisturizing body wash formula. So very excited to get those two shower gels in. But that is everything. That concludes my candle day haul. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, I went ahead and printed this out before I left Friday night from work. This was my candle day wish list screenshot if you want. But basically I put down must haves, vanilla bean Noel, which I got, sugared snickerdoodle, which I got, Mary cookie, which I got, vanilla balsam, they had that in store. And actually I smelled it and I didn't really think, I thought the balsam was a little too strong and I usually don't like those candles, so I didn't get that one. Gingerbread marshmallow, which I got, and berry waffle cone, which I got. Um, I wrote down pomegranate lemonade because I didn't expect to find that one, but I got that one. Snowflakes and citrus, which I got. Vanilla snowflake, which I got. Um, Christmas cider, which I smelled in store. They had that at the store on Saturday in my mall. Um, but I decided against it because I do already have another cider scent from Goose Creek. Um, raspberry mimosa, which I never actually saw in store, um, but I'm kind of counting pomegranate lemonade as that, um, just because those two kind of smelled a little similar to me. Um, I crossed out sugared lemon zest because I smelled that on Friday, 
and I didn't actually like it. I thought it was too lemony. Um, strawberry pound cake, which I got, and market peach, I crossed out because I also smelled that one on Friday, and I didn't really like it. It was a little too strong on the peach for me, which of course it's supposed to be because it's like a beach candle, but um, that was a little too strong for me. But anyways, so yeah, I mostly got everything on my wish list with a few surprises, and yeah, I'm very excited to have all these candles. So total, I bought 11 candles on candle day or candle day weekend, I guess you could say. And I'm done. I'm done for the season. I don't need any more candles. I need to burn through what I have. I have so many. Um, but yeah, let me know down below what you are most excited for getting um, on candle day. How was your experience? Did you have a similar one where it was bad or it was good? Um, did you order online? Did it go through? Let me know down below. I think I'm most excited for the two online exclusives that I got. I think I'm most excited for pomegranate lemonade. I never expected to find this one um, in the store. So very, very, very excited to have that. That almost makes the whole Friday experience worth it. Um, but yeah, and of course, my bag. <laughs> so very, very happy with Candle Day 2020. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!